Miss Miss Parada here. Today we're going to be making a practice track for Kashmir and it is arranged by Tim McCarrick. Um, luckily for you, in this particular piece, you have only so many different musical ideas and those musical ideas repeat themselves a thousand times. Now, the difficult part is that you need to know how to play them so that you can repeat them for a thousand times. I would say some things to look out for is uh, some of the rhythms like at 18, the whole orchestra is playing that together so make sure you know how to play that. Just you know for this particular recording I'm only going to be playing the top part because the bottom part actually echoes other parts of the orchestra and is the melody versus the top part when you're playing all those A's. That can be a little bit more difficult because you're actually just playing a rhythm and you have to make sure you're counting. So I'll play the top part because I actually think even though it's only one note, I think it is the more difficult part. Um, the other thing is that can be intimidating to students, but once you get it, it is actually not that bad, is make sure when you have 28, um, measure 32, 36, anytime you have those 16th notes, make sure they start with a fourth finger and then the measure after that where you have the dotted half note, make sure you're actually holding it out for a full three beats and also make sure that you're not going over that measure with those three beats. So you do have to count and you do have to lift your bow. So you might even have to cut it a little bit shorter. Um, when you go to 51, the slide that you do, you're going to go put your first finger on your G and you're gonna make the same note as your open A, but it's gonna be about right here, and boom, boom, that's what you're gonna do. And the lower first finger A, that'll be an up bow. So it's down, up, that's all that is, and you're doing that with your first finger. Um, the other part that can be a little tricky is the counting at 69. When you are going to play this, if you're gonna play this with a whole orchestra, um, the cellos are actually playing the same rhythm at you, so you're doubled with them, but you have to count. Make sure that you are counting your eighth notes, an eighth note beat. So instead of counting one, two, count one and two and three and done. So count the eighth notes instead. That's my best recommendation for you in that part. If you have to write your rhythms underneath the notes so you can make sure you're counting them out loud properly, Go ahead and do that and sometimes I do that in my music just so I can make sure I'm counting it correctly and coming at the right time. Other than that, this piece is super fun. Uh, make sure you know your rhythms and make sure you know the notes. Let's go ahead and play this. One and two and three.
Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Bye.